The New York Times breaking from tradition with just two weeks to go until the Iowa caucuses, endorsing two candidates for the Democratic nomination, Senators Amy Klobuchar and Elizabeth Warren. Let's bring in Carl Rove for a live reaction. Good morning, Carl. Morning. Carl, Congratulations, big, Ed. I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to working with you a lot more. Um, interesting because big picture uh, in this editorial, uh, the Times basically says, Joe Biden, uh, time to pass the torch to a new generation and let the best woman win. Yeah. Uh, what was interesting was they said, look, the Democrats are split, not ideologically. They suggest that everybody sort of agrees on a left wing progressive agenda. It's a question of not what they say, but how. How do you get there? And so they have come down on behalf of two people, Amy Klobuchar, whom they say, look, she's not really a moderate. She's actually left wing. She shares these views, but she wants to get there by trying to bring uh, the two parties together and getting this done legislatively. And then they say Elizabeth Warren. Uh, said uh, what the focus there is that how much she, she would be able to quote accomplish without new legislation in other words using quote the wide ranging powers of the presidency to achieve goals not by asking for the vote of the of the congress but by doing it through executive uh, mm -hmm. action so uh, you know it's interesting they end up saying everybody you know we're we're endorsing two candidates who have the similar views they just want to get there in different ways right and to your point, they say in the editorial, both the radical and the realist models warrant serious consideration. If there were ever a time to be open to new ideas, it's now. If there were ever a time to seek stability, now is it. That's why we're endorsing the most effective advocates for each approach. But doesn't that open the question even more that it seems like Democratic leaders don't know where to go right now? Right. Yeah. Look, they said they opened the editorial by talking about those two models. They say, look, there are some Democrats who believe that Donald Trump is an aberration and we can return to a more normal style of politics. And then there are other Democrats, and that's a reference to Klobuchar. And then, there, then they say there are other Democrats who believe that the political and economic systems are so rotten that, that we must begin anew. So that's clearly a reference to, to Elizabeth Warren. But they're suggesting they both want to end up at the at the at the same place, but uh, to get there in a different way. Yeah. Interestingly, my gut tells me that the person that this advantages is Klobuchar, because people are now waking up this morning, listening to stories like this, picking up their morning paper, talking about things over the over coffee, and saying, well, who is Klobuchar? Mm -hmm. Because they've seen her in occasional debates and seems to do well, but this is going to, I think, benefit her more yeah. than Warren because people are going to say, I, I need to know more about the person I didn't hear, know hey, about. You're right, because as you know better than anyone, Iowa largely is about who peaks at the right time. Let's shift gears real yeah. quick, though, to impeachment. I, I want to applaud you because I listened to all the panels on the Sunday shows yesterday, and Fox News Sunday was the only time where I stopped and said, wait a second, Carl Rove just said that he thinks there, there may be more Senate Democrats voting to acquit the president than Republicans voting to convict and remove. Explain. Well, I just looking at it, you've had a number of Democrats, Manchin of West Virginia, Jones of Alabama. You even had King of Maine, who's an independent, uh, all have sort of temperate comments about this. I mean, sure, most Democrats are going to be like, you know, uh, Kamala Harris and uh, and these others who have just made it clear they're voting to convict no matter if it, what or what. Mm -hmm. But I, I just think there's likely to be a couple of Democrats. Maybe it's because they're from deep red states. I mean, West Virginia, there's been some polling. Alabama, there's been some polling showing that Manchin and Jones would have huge political problems if they uh, voted to impeach the president. But I think also it's a mindset. I, I think they're looking at it saying, really, is this what we ought to be doing as a as a as a country and as a mm -hmm. Democrat should I be just going along with the herd now they'll go with them I think they'll go with the rest of the Democrats on procedural questions like should you know how are we going to approach the question of witnesses yeah. but I think that's going to be a different question than the ultimate one of should we remove the president yeah and if you have a couple of Democrats voting to acquit the president certainly will try to uh, make it much more about vindication we'll watch it closely uh, in the day's head Carl Rowe appreciate you coming in thank you Ed